What's up everybody, my name is Tucker and this is Tuckweed Gaming. Today we are playing City Skylines. Um, this is just a voiceover and right here you are looking at our big square. So I bought some more land around the first part that we have, uh, which we don't use. <laughs> I could have just kept the same land that was there. So um, what we're doing is we are gonna dig a big hole down so it's below the level of that little lake that you saw in the beginning and then we're gonna put a city a pretty small city but we're gonna put a city in there that lake right there that's at the bottom um, in the hole and then we're gonna flood the city because you, you know why not <laughs> so um, sorry this is, this video is so late, but, um, been busy, and I'm trying to get the next episode of the zoo series done, so look out for that. Hopefully I can get it done by the end of this week, but I'm not sure yet, so just keep an eye out. Um, this is like my first time playing City Skylines. Uh, I've messed with it a little bit before. I got the infinite money mod and then all the mile mar markers are already done mod. I don't know what that is, but can't remember what that's called. Um, yeah, so right here I'm smoothing the terrain so that we can have a, a road go down there. And I just figured out that tool, or, uh, so that made things a lot easier <laughs> and yeah so basically the plan is we're gonna make this city and then make it so it's uh, functional pretty functional it's not quite functional <laughs> they're struggling for workers in the end but it's okay we flooded them so they didn't need workers anyway <laughs> Yeah, so basically, just gonna dig this hole out, and then we get started on the city. So, if you guys happen to like City Skylines, and you want to see me make more videos on City Skylines, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, this video is going to be pretty boring. I, I get that, but, I mean, we're flooding a city, come on, man. There's only so much that can happen, you know? We get a bunch of people in the city, and then we <laughs> trap them so that they can't get out, and then we flood them. Because, well, let's be honest, we're terrible human beings. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, but if not, then I don't know. I think the next City Skylines video that we do, we're gonna just buy like a ton of land, like a lot more land than this, and make a giant city and just see how that goes because i want to know how that turns out and if you guys don't want to see that comment down below um tell me what you guys want to see uh with city skylines or if you just want me to do the zoo which i'm okay with that too but i mean i just bought city skylines so <laughs> you know um yeah also if you guys Whatever you guys want to see next in the zoo, you guys can comment down below what what you want to see next. So, like, what exhibit you want to see. Um, yeah. The zoo is coming along, but it's a, it's a work in progress, you know? There's a lot of planning that goes into the zoo videos. <laughs> I've been doing pretty good, though, making a video uh, every week. I think is what I've been doing. Yeah, I've been trying to make a video every week, which this is last week's video, um, because I've been like super busy. So <clears throat> right now you can see that we're just extending our hole out. Um, it's actually a fairly decent sized hole. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty big, but it's nothing too extravagant. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna let this guy here, this little 
red dot thing and you do a thing and then <laughs> then we'll tell you what's happening right here I'm just smoothing this terrain again to help with the road because you can see how that is uh, now we're gonna start on the city I guess um, I was looking for to see if that big roundabout was gonna work on this one but it didn't so I just went with a little one which turned out okay here I'm trying to connect the road but it's the wrong way so <laughs> still the wrong way alright there we go we connected the road and then this road uh, I couldn't get it to work how I wanted it to so I just demolished the other part of the road that I had and we're gonna do a custom road so a freeform road and then I just kinda make it at a little bit of an angle so it works out there and then here is where we um, we're gonna make all the roads which yeah there we go I was like why are we doing like a big highway thing forgot that we did that um, then we're just gonna connect it and I'm trying to here I'm trying to make uh, make it as what, what am I trying to say? Um, trying to make it so that it's... I'm using up all the room that I can. So, like, I'm trying to make it as efficient, I guess is the word, as possible. And then I decided that I wanted a little area over here for... Um, oh, like, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> it's it's technically a gated community i do put a toll booth there um i'm saying um a lot <laughs> well i guess that's not one of my videos if i don't say um a lot but this is just a oh low des low density residential um again with the um and here i'm trying to make sure that i'm above the sea level or not the sea level the uh water level up here in this lake which is the lake that floods the city in the end so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And a little bit more terraforming here. <laughs> if you look at the road up there in that corner, you can see that it's like raised up a bunch. <laughs> I didn't notice that until just now. I mean, I did notice it a little bit, but I didn't know it was that bad. Like, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess I'm just making it bigger because I thought, you know, that wasn't sufficient enough, you know? It wasn't cool. we got to make it huge. A big city. It's actually not that big, but it's it's a fairly decent-sized city. I live in Montana, though, so I can't really say much. I live in a small town in Montana, so a big city is, like, a small city to most people who live in the city. <laughs> All right, now we're back to roads. So I'm gonna do these, uh, this two lane road with uh, trees around it so that the community looks more like a gated community, I guess. <laughs> and then I take the roads and then loop them around, which um, <clears throat> ends up not turning out the way that I wanted it to because uh, I wasn't planning on putting a toll booth there, but then I did, so I had a switch up the way that that worked here I'm trying to I don't know what I'm trying to do <laughs> I guess I'm I'm trying to make it so that it's mo the most efficient that I can get it and it works out pretty well um, so I had to zoom in to see exactly where I'm placing my my roads at and then here, I think I got a little confused and was like, hmm, where do I put this? So I did a, like a double. It turned out pretty well. Um, this side, I believe, is the industrial side. So I'm just trying to get it so it works out pretty well for industrial things. <laughs> And then I decided, hey, let's expand this out this way a little bit too. And that becomes the, all the office areas, which, it, yeah, it looks fine to me anyway. 
So here's the industrial. We're going to paint that in. And then we come down here and paint that in. And then I realize, well, I don't want industrial on the roundabout. So I just kind of select the D. The, uh, what do you call that? Uh, D zone box thing. And then we go with, what do we do? I think we do low density commercial, I guess. I thought we did high density commercial, but I guess it's low density. And then I made low density commercial uh, along the main streets, which I'm pretty sure I changed that later. Just so we could have more high density commercial areas. So that's all the low density. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, now we're going into high density, which I realized that I want that down here. So as you can see, I just deleted it all. <laughs> now I'm going to go through here and put it right there on that street. And then we do offices. And then we go with high density residential just paint that right on it and then I think we do more oh I guess we just go on to the low density residential our gated community down there and oh here's where I decided to do a toll booth I was like why is that not working and so I had to delete all those roads and then it's like oh now it doesn't want to connect the way I want it to so I had a hard time rotating that because it wanted to snap weird so I just rotated it like that and then fixed it with a road like like so and then I was like oh man now I can't go there because then <laughs> it doesn't make sense to have a toll booth there so then I just went down here and connected it which worked out it worked out fine um, I guess we're doing more high density commercial and some more low density commercial. That looks good. And now we're going to put the water pumps in so that our city can have some water. And right now I'm just going to connect the pipes and then go from this one out to the low density residential place. And then I just follow the road along with the pipes so uh, and then I mess up just so it's a little more uniform it gets a little wacky up towards the top there not here I think it is here where it gets a little wacky but I mean it looks fine here there's a place where it gets really bad I don't know where it's at but we'll see it so I'm just following the road and then I'm going to go along that road. I'm pretty much skipping a road so that it covers everything without there. That's where it's a little wacky, but it worked out. Now I'm going to do the water treatment center plant. I don't know what that is. plant. And then I just took it up right on into those pipes because why not? We already got water there. And then this is some, uh, some electricity. I can't remember. I think that's like, I can't remember what it's called. That's a solar, uh, solar plant. And then I do some wind turbines up on the hill just so it's a little more eco. <laughs> and now we're going to put a hospital in, which I realize is a small hospital. And so I delete that and put in the huge hospital, which covers pretty much everything. And then we go with a fire department, the big one, which covers everything. And a police headquarters, which covers everything. Because <laughs> the city is not very big. Okay, now what are we doing? I think we're just waiting for people to move in. Oh, okay, so we got some electric problems. So I do a... Uh... Oh, no, this is a... I just put in some... Uh, garbage places. I don't remember what they're called. 
Now I'm just connecting some places with some power lines. That place right there that I'm circling, uh, it's going to be really hard to connect with to anything because then I'd have to cross the road and then I'd lose some areas to build. And right now I'm just going to bump up the taxes a little bit so that we can be making money, but we don't really make money. We got infinite money. It doesn't really matter. So once we get some places right in between those two, the low density and the low density commercial, the low density residential and the low density commercial, like that dog park that I just put in, it will connect the power. So I wasn't too worried about that. And now I'm just going to connect the power from the the turbine things down there, the advanced turbines, to the city so that it has way more power. Just in case something happens and they fail, then they got a little bit of a fail safe. So right now I'm just waiting for for people to move in and for everything to get going, which it looks like people are flowing in pretty pretty good. This is two times speed, so, or something like that. It's like 200% speed. So, it, yeah, I just raised the price on the toll, the toll booth. Just so we can try to get our debt a little bit down. That's the dog park. This is our city being all loud and crazy. Uh, as you can see, they don't have enough workers, and so we got a lot of places that are being abandoned. And so I have to do hold those, those down a lot. Which, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's pretty bad. I just had to keep up with them. <laughs> see, like, it just keeps coming. Nobody's got enough workers. Yep. Just waiting for that city to build. Trying to watch the flow of traffic. And we got all that area that we did nothing with. Which, that's okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, see, now I have to upkeep some more. And get rid of those abandoned buildings. Just so more people can come in and have those places. The street's a little crowded, but it's okay. Uh, I'm doing a bus station right here so that people can get to work, I guess was my idea. It didn't work out that way. Everybody was still, there was not enough, uh, people. But I basically just tried to make it so everybody could get on the bus route and get around town. There's some places that you can't get to, but that's okay. Right there, I was thinking about doing an airport, but I... I was like, nah, that's that's too much, you know? <laughs> now I just gotta check the electricity, and now I'm gonna bulldoze some more abandoned buildings, because they're abandoned. <laughs> yeah, so this goes on for a little bit longer, and then, you know, basically, we let them live, and then we killed him. <laughs> we're building a city so we can kill all the people in the city because we're very good human beings. Um, I was trying to make a... Well, what is this? Oh, I'm putting some library or some schools in because there wasn't enough educated people or something like that. Whatever. <laughs> Who needs edumacation, edumacation anyway, you know? Look, books is for, for nerds, you know? Just kidding, I like books. Some books. Some books are good. Yeah, as you can see, they just kept coming. The abandoned buildings. And then there's a dead person. And, person. and so I was like, oh, I better build a morgue. And then I... Obviously, you can see I have a hospital selected because I didn't look at what I had, and so now I go back and start just demolishing some buildings because uh, that's the kind of person I am. I'm just going to demolish all these buildings. And I was like, why is that dead person still waiting for transport? There's a hospital right there, and then I just put a morgue in. Like, what? 
<laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. That looks familiar. It's like, ah, uh, that's a hospital. <laughs> so now I put in a creamery or crematorium, whatever you, what, what do you call that? Not a creamery. <laughs> that's like ice cream. <laughs> and then I decided to put, uh, I think that's a graveyard. Um, for the low density residential. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, heck with all of you guys. So I just deleted most of the buildings. <laughs> And they were like, hey, and I was like, well, you guys, you know, you guys are abandoned anyway. And now I am going to be making all this into a high-density residential area so that maybe more people can move in. I thought maybe that would help, but it really didn't. But I was trying to fix the problem. It just wasn't working very well. And here I, I noticed that there was like a big square that didn't have anything there, and then where I placed these buildings, so. Now we're just checking on the dog park, making sure it's being used, and it was. <clears throat> Gotta keep up on the buildings that are abandoned. Um, yeah. Demolishing buildings, you know, the norm. So it's getting pretty, pretty packed over here, and I think, okay, I'm putting up more power for some reason, putting up some more turbines. I don't know why I did that. I mean, we're pretty close to me literally destroying the whole place. And then I just realized that I have more highway over there that I could use, but it's fine. So now we're just checking up on everybody, and as we can see, the streets are a little bit crammed. And kept telling me that. And then I was like, "Eh, they're gonna die anyway, so <laughs> I'm not gonna fix that." Yeah, these people are about to die. Um, I think it's in a couple minutes, but right here, I decided to uh, destroy that street and then put up a a bigger road going in so that it would be less congested and then I accidentally demolished some buildings in the process and so I had to rezone them <laughs> which the same buildings aren't going to come back up but that's okay so now it's a little less congested but it's still pretty bad just checking on everything now I'm going to demolish some more buildings because people don't deserve buildings anymore <laughs> And I think this is the point where I was like, oh my gosh, I'm done with this city. These guys are retarded. And so, Karen, like, I don't know, pretty soon, we're going to start killing off people. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, man. If you got to kill somebody to make your city better, or if you got to flood your whole city just to be make sure that it's better, then you do that. Uh, what the heck is going on here? There's like three ambulances just crammed there. They're all, I don't know. That's weird. Oh, so that was the point that pushed me over the edge. I was like, okay, you guys don't got to go out. You guys can come in, but you guys can't come out. And then I saw people going out and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to delete your roads. <laughs> so now I'm just trying to get a bunch of people in and then they can't get out. So... Basically, I'm just trying to make sure there's as many people as possible inside the city when I flood it. <laughs> so now we get to delete the roads, and we are going to flood the city. So, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> yeah, let's get hyped. Alright, I'm got. i getting the tool. Now, I'm going to pause the game before I do this. Um... Right now I'm just getting the right level and then I'm going to get pretty close and then pause the terrain or pause the game. So I paused it so that it won't, the water won't just flow in right away. So now I'm just basically building a big canal into the city. <laughs> uh, yeah, right on their power source too, their main power source. And then I'm going to raise the terrain over here 
so that when I press play, all the water is going to tide over that way and then <laughs> crash through that little culvert type thing that I built and then destroy the city because come on, man, that's cool. We're going to watch a bunch of people screaming. I mean, that's terrible in real life. Like I'm a terrible person. I get it. But in the game, it's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Water's moving pretty slow, to be honest with you. <laughs> it flooded over that side better than it flooded in here. Okay, now we're seeing some mass destruction. Like, that spread pretty quickly after it got through its little canal thing. So yeah, the city is pretty much just being destroyed right now. And I'm going to zoom in here in a second, and then we can hear all the commotion. I got a Twitter notification. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but look at this. All these cars are just floating away. The water sounds so peaceful, though. It's not like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Eventually, uh, the buildings start breaking, and then it sounds pretty cool. And it's not really getting that last part of the office area. And so I fixed that. Don't worry. We flooded the whole city. <laughs> when I say we flooded the whole city, I mean we flooded the whole city. I'm not going to I'm not going to strip you guys of that. So here, we're just going to um get the right level and then dig out a giant or river canal thing. I don't know what you call it, like a funnel into the city. <laughs> That way it all goes up into the other parts of the um, the office buildings. And then I'm going to extend this out a little bit more so that it creates that ripple again. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just doing that. Come on, we want to see some mass destruction. <laughs> It should come here pretty soon. I mean, we already destroyed half the city. Most, I'm pretty sure everybody's dead at this point, but <laughs> then I basically just make this so that it can only flow out of the um, river area type things. I don't know, these little funnels that we created. And here we go. The water starts flowing in from both sides, collides, and then this water just overpowers that water because well, this water's better water. Like, don't you know? And that fixes the situation where the... That part of the city wasn't getting the water. So now you see it just flows in there pretty freely. <laughs> Starts destroying everything. So now we're gonna get... Yeah, I hear that. We can hear the buildings all breaking down. <laughs> utter chaos and then it turns nighttime and yeah this is basically our destroyed city now <laughs> pretty great well that's gonna be it for this video uh thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe if you want to see more um if you don't want to see more please like comment and subscribe but anywho um let me know what you think uh, I'll see you uh, some other time. If you watch the zoo series, hopefully I'll see you uh, sometime this week. Peace.